Gianni remains uh, a wild outdoorsman optimist. Um, he's getting a little bit domesticated. He's dealing with married life and fatherhood, so he's, he's growing a little bit, but in general, he's the same, same goofy dude. There's a grandson for Drac now, my character's son, and Drac really wants him to be a vampire but obviously Johnny in his laid back nature is cool with it either way, if he's human or vampire or, or a mix of both. So he's sort of contending with Drac throughout the movie. There's four generations living under one roof, which obviously will be intense no matter what the family is. Um, and Johnny's up against not just Drac, but now Vlad, who's even more old school and to the tradition of being a vampire and that kind of thing and Johnny's much more next generation, you know, and obviously they're, you know, branching outside of that Mavis is by marrying a human. Um, so it's complicated, but it's also wonderful and it's, you know, them sort of all getting to know each other and understanding each other. I wish I had gotten to be in the same room as Mel Brooks. He's like my all-time hero. Kind of like the order of this family is my heroes in comedy when it goes Mel and then Sandler. Um, so, yeah, I mean, he's a legend. I, I grew up watching all his stuff, and there's really no one I put above Mel Brooks in the comedy world.